Hello. So in my last video, I introduced my new desktop setup. And I mentioned at the end of the video that with this new setup, I was experiencing a USB ground loop noise issue where whenever the GPU was active, I was hearing a buzzing noise coming through the KRK studio monitors that I have here. And I also said that I bought one of these things to see if it solved the issue. This is an iFi iDefender 3 ground loop breaker. And I bought this for personal use to see if it fixed this issue from where I work, uh, a headphone store called Minidisc in Australia. So there's all sorts of, um, there's all sorts of USB sort of dongles or decrapifiers or filters floating out there on the market today, including a number from iFi themselves, which all claim to uh, improve USB noise performance uh, in some way or, or other. And there's all sorts of reviews from satisfied owners who take one of these things home and they listen to it and they say that it makes all sorts of miraculous changes in terms of the noise performance uh, of their of their systems. And it's really hard to verify whether or not these reviews or these claims are the product of placebo effect or they actually reflect something that is solving a real world electrical issue. So in this video, I'm not going to be reviewing uh, this product on the basis of any sort of uh, wonderful things it does for the sound of the system or blah, 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 blah. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to demonstrate an actual real world ground loop noise issue that's coming through these speakers that you're going to be able to hear with your own ears. And then I'm going to demonstrate whether or not this supposed ground loop breaker actually solves the issue that it claims to fix. So let's get right into it. So we'll start by reintroducing this setup just so that you know exactly what's going on. We have here a Questile CMA 400i headphone amp slash DAC. And this is a balanced headphone amp that supports balanced XLR outs to these pair of studio monitors here. These are KRK Rocket 4 studio monitors. And I know that I get a lot of comments about these being not particularly great uh, monitors. I'm perfectly happy with the casual use that I use them for. So there's that, whatever. Uh, the headphone amp, the Quest style is connected to the computer via USB. And that's that USB cable here down at the bottom. And we're connecting that to the front panel USB. Now, ordinarily, I would be connecting to one of the rear USB ports on my desktop. But just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm connecting it to the front panel just so that you can see uh, where the leads are going. There's no funny business here. Uh, but I can tell you that the noise occurs no matter which USB port I'm connected to on the computer. So in a moment, I'm going to actually show you the noise issue that I'm experiencing with, uh, with this setup whenever the GPU is active. And I'm going to show you that the GPU noise comes through when the GPU is active, whether that's from, say, crypto mining or it's from scrolling a web page in Chrome. So I'm going to turn the microphone around uh, just so that you can hear that. go. Now I'm going to turn the camera around. So here, and I'm going to start mining. So I'm not an electrician, but I'm going to do my best to explain what I think is happening here with this setup. And if you are an electrician or you know better than I do, then feel free to let us know in the comments uh, what is actually happening here or what you think might be happening. Because honestly, this is all very much above my head. But 
from what I understand, a ground loop occurs when you have two devices that are both grounded and there's any number of reasons why electrical devices are grounded, one of them being safety. But uh, when you have two devices that are grounded, so they have a path uh, to something in the utility box which goes straight into the earth, but you get an issue called a ground loop when those two grounded devices are connected together. Because you get an issue where there's a full circuit that's completed with the ground path. If you have another device in the chain that draws enough current um, and there's a difference in potential. And again, I'm just talking, talking out of my um, uh, behind here at this point. But if you have an electrical device that draws enough current, it can also induce uh, electromagnetic interference into the ground loop. So what we have here in this case is a ground loop between the computer and the ground path in the USB lead that goes through the Quest style and then the balanced out to the studio monitors here. And uh, from what I was told, with a computer in the power supply of a computer, the ground path of the five volt USB power rail and the ground path of the 12 volt, uh, which goes to the GPU or anything like that, that's all shared inside the power supply. And in a situation where, let's say you have a 1080 Ti in the computer and you draw heaps of current by doing something like crypto mining or gaming or I don't know, scrolling Chrome web browser windows, uh, you get a situation where you get EMI noise. And that apparently is what is happening here. So I got a, a few comments from people suggesting that it could be coil wine from the GPU. I don't believe that's the case because uh, coil wine would not disappear if I disconnected the studio monitors. In fact, the coil wine should be audible whether or not I have any sound equipment connected at all. So um, there's a number of devices which you can get to solve these ground loop issues. And I've actually bought one of these in the past. Uh, I bought this uh, uh, ground loop isolator from a company called Art, which actually sat between the XLR balance cables on, uh, from, the, from another DAC that I had at that time and the studio monitors. The connection between the studio monitors and the, the amplifier or the DAC is an analog connection and they try to do the isolation at that stage and theoretically that should introduce some distortion or signal loss. Uh, so it's not an ideal solution. You also get a lot of USB devices which claim to do things like regenerate the USB uh, clock or do noise filtration. Uh, and then you have this thing, this iFi iDefender 3. And uh, it doesn't inspire a huge amount of confidence at first glance because you get in this box, I've actually taken it out of the box so you can see it, but it's this USB dongle here and comes in this box with this slightly goofy looking sticker there. And it's just a little dongle and it's like any other sort of USB dongle that you can get in the audio file market today, which claims to do some sort of thing for your USB connection. But the reason why I bought this device in particular was because it claims to do a very specific thing. What it does is that it claims to actually break the USB power rail. So it actually removes the power part of the USB connection so that uh, no power is being uh, sent from the USB port to the DAC or the device that you're connecting it to. And it says that very clearly and specifically that if you use a DAC, you connect a DAC uh, that is USB powered 
to this device, to the eye defender, it should actually stop working because there's no power coming through anymore. And in that case, there's a little micro USB port here that you can connect a USB power supply, uh, an external one, which uh, you could get a low noise power supply from iFi themselves, but they say you could use any low noise power supply to supply the five volt power. And for decks that are not USB powered, like say this Questile CMA400i, which is mains powered, uh, you don't need to connect anything additional. So the reason why I bought this particular device and I thought it could, I'd give it a, give it a spin was because it's a device that actually should break things and make certain things stop working. So it's, it's gotta be doing something, right? Um, and apparently from what I've read with this device, there are certain devices, there are certain DACs where even if the uh, DAC is mains powered, this thing will still prevent it from working properly because the USB section still might need the five volt power uh, rail to actually function properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, the same thing with the microphone and everything like that, except with this iDefender 3 in the chain, and we'll see if we get that USB noise. So amazingly enough, this little guy here actually does what it says on the tin. It solves a USB noise issue, uh, and I'm sure we all heard the difference. Um, and honestly speaking, I was 50-50 on whether or not this thing would work in the first place. And the only thing that gave me confidence that this particular device would work compared to uh, all sorts of other USB dongles on the market, including a number that iFi sells themselves. The only thing that gave me confidence was this, was that this, uh, this claim to solve the issue in a way that even I could understand in that it cut the USB power rails and in doing so it would make a number of devices stop working properly if you use this thing. And the best thing about this device, and again, uh, I don't mean to shill because we do sell this at the place where I work. I did buy this for personal use to see if it would solve this problem. But the best thing about this thing is that it's actually pretty reasonably priced as far as these kind of USB filter things go. This is 49 US dollars or 69 Australian dollars. And uh, it, it solves an issue with a ground loop or GPU noise that I'm sure a lot of people might have, maybe with your desktop computer uh, and you're going out to some sort of external DAC, you could actually give this a go and see if it solves the issue. Uh, no guarantees, I don't know if it will work for your particular setup, it might just be something weird with my uh, particular setup. And again, if you do know more about uh, electronics, then let me know what's happening here. Anyway, this is the iFi iDefender 3, and uh, I'm happy to report that it actually works. So, great. It's, it, uh, it gets my stamp of approval. Anyway, uh, see you later.